So we finally got Nintendo's E3 2021 Direct and it was fantastic. There was a lot of great stuff in it. So I just wanted to briefly go over what were the, my personal highlights and you know the, the games that I'm probably going to either pre-order or at least pick up sometime shortly after release. So here we go. So the first game that really interested me that we got here was Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Now I played, I think I've only played Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz on the Wii. Um, but and I've been wanting to play some of the earlier Monkey Ball games, so this is a fantastic opportunity for me. Because um, I, I love Banana Blitz, so I'm really, really excited for this. Next up is Mario Party Superstars. So I I absolutely love Super Mario Party on the Switch. It's fantastic. And similar to Monkey Ball, I've been wanting to play some of the older games. So I'm looking at Superstars as a way to experience these older games. It's got boards from the N64 and a hundred mini games from throughout the Mario Party series. So to me, this seems like a really good way to experience what the Mario Party series has to offer. So now, as it includes 100 mini games, hopefully they're going to go through and pick what are generally considered the best ones from throughout the series, uh, just so we kind of get a, probably get the ultimate Mario Party experiences. What I, that's what I'm hoping for, and I'm definitely going to pre-order this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Prob it's probably going to be a game I spend many, many hours playing. So, Metroid Dread. Yeah, yeah, they finally, after almost 20 years, announced a new 2D Metroid game. So now, I've only played Metroid on the NES and Super Metroid on the SNES, and I love them both. They're fantastic games. So I am really, really excited for this game. Um, and, I mean, who doesn't love a good space adventure game? So now, it looks like it's going to be pretty much traditional Metroid gameplay, at least, you know, traditional from what I know. Though it looks like that you're going to be stalked or hunted by that robot thing for at least part of the game, and that looks terrifying. Pro that's probably going to stress me out so much. But, yeah, so I I I'm really excited for Metroid Dread. I'm definitely going to pre-order this game, and it it's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited for this. Next up was Cruise and Blast, which, it you know, it's not... A huge game, obviously, but I mean, who doesn't love a good arcade racer? I I love racing games. I think they're a lot of fun. I mean, some some of my earliest video game memories I have is playing Need for Speed Three on the PC. So I'm 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 looking forward to this. I think it'll be fun, and I really like how bright and colorful this game looks. It looks like it's going to be a good experience. Next up, we had Mario Golf Super Rush. Now, this game obviously isn't new. We knew this was coming, but I. I really am excited for this game. I've never played a Mario sports game before. I've never really been that into sports games. Well, except Wii Sports, but who doesn't love Wii Sports? Um, but so, Mario Golf, it looks like a lot of fun, and it looks like the gameplay is going to be very enough to keep me entertained, which is really why I've never really gotten into sports games. It's just like, okay, you play a sport, it doesn't seem like it would keep me entertained for very long. But it looks like there's enough... You know, different game modes and different characters to play as that it's probably going to keep me entertained for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that game. All right, so next up are the big three that I'm super, super excited for. First, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. So I absolutely love Skyward Sword. It's one of my favorite games on the Wii. I think it's super underrated. It has a fantastic story, amazing soundtrack, and some these dungeons are some of the best in the entire series, in my opinion. So it, make, it makes me really happy that they're giving this another shot on the Switch, and I think it's going to do very well. Um, so I, I already have this pre-ordered. I'm, I'm ready to go. Now, I really do want to try and get my hands on those Zelda Joy-Cons. Unfortunately, scalpers and bots have been buying them all up, so probably going to have to wait till after after launch I'm fine I'm fine being to play the game until I get those joy cons it it's I think going to be worth it um but yeah I'm very excited for Skyward Sword but again we already knew that was coming so now it's time for something that's I think a bit of a missed opportunity the Zelda Game & Watch so I'm I'm really excited for that I love the Mario Game & Watch from the Mario 35th anniversary it's it's fantastic it's a cute little thing and the the fact that we're actually getting a Zelda one makes me so happy, and getting three full Zelda adventures is just awesome. So on this channel right now, I'm actually playing through The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on the Switch, 
it's it's one of my favorite games. I absolutely love it. So I'm I'm really excited. I'm gonna be able to play the Game Boy game because um, I I've not I've never actually played the original Game Boy version. I've just played the Game Boy Color and now the Switch version. Um, and then Zelda one and two. I I just love them. They're fun. They haven't aged very well, obviously, but they're still good games. You you can't not like them. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but so a bit of a missed opportunity here is they should have had instead of vermin they should have made this a double screen and included the original zelda game watch game because there was a zelda game and watch back in i think it mid 80s late 80s i think it was 89 that they released a zelda game and watch it was a double screen thing and it was a zelda game they really should have made that the game and watch game included here um, I, I can I kind of get where they're coming from having it match closer to the form factor of the Mario one trying to keep it consistent I think that's probably why they didn't go with that but it's a bit of a missed opportunity and I I I, I really want to know what the reasoning actually is for not doing that but regardless of you know regardless of the issue of their choice of game I'm definitely gonna be picking this up it's going to be so much fun um, yeah it's gonna be great now we come to the game that I've been looking forward to the most the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild is my favorite game it's fantastic I've put hundreds of hours into it I'm still finding new things um, but so I'm I was so excited back in 2019 when Nintendo first announced the sequel and then was silent about it for two years so now I'm so happy that we finally got to see more of the game and it looks like it's going to be amazing getting to explore the sky going to, it's probably going to feel a lot like Skyward Sword in that respect and looking uh, how looks like Link's arm will kind of take the place of the Sheikah Slate all you know having been corrupted by malice and then healed by what I'm assuming is Zonai technology it's going to be great. But I will say that I am kind of disappointed that we're not going to be getting it this year. I was really hoping that it was going to be Nintendo's big holiday game. But I can live with it being next year, though, because it gives Nintendo more time to make sure it's as good as it possibly can be. Because it's Nintendo's got a really hard job here trying to make a game that's at least as good as Breath of the Wild, but you know, trying to make it better. So I can understand why they're trying to take their time with it, and I'm perfectly fine waiting. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely think, though, finally getting more footage of this game is the highlight of the show for me. I do wish that they had told us what the title of the game is, but I don't really need to know. It's fine as it is. Uh, but yeah, so those are my quick thoughts on the E3 Direct. Those are you know, the, hi the game highlights for me. Um, I'm really excited for everything i'm really happy for the metroid fans in particular because they never get any love i've been waiting for metroid prime 4 for what five years I, i'm not even sure how long it's been and having to wait while they restart development so i'm really happy that we're getting an actual metroid game soon it's, com it's coming this year uh, and it's a 2D Metro game, first one in almost 20 years, so very excited for that. But overall, everything I'm very excited for, and I definitely think Nintendo had a fantastic show this year. I think it was probably the, the best Direct I can remember in a long time, in my opinion. It was just good game after good game. Uh, so please, let me know down in the comments what your highlights from the show were and what games you're really looking forward to. Well, until next time, so long.